Back in the day, if you get an engine light, uh, you know, uh, I gotta go to Audi, gotta wait in a long queue and pay major money. So life has gotten much easier where we can actually buy our own little diagnostic tools. So these are known as the ELM327. In today's video, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to set it up and then obviously how to plug it in, how it works, how to connect to it, the password to them. Yeah, they are password protected. <laughs> but yeah, don't stress about that. I'll help you guys quickly. So so these two are different twos. Let me unpackage them quickly. There we go. So these two are looking different, but they are basically exactly the same. They feel like they weigh the same, to be honest. <laughs> so obviously you'll ask yourself, which one is the best? Uh, so in my opinion, the one on the right, I'm really happy with. The one on the left uh, just feels to me like it's a bit uh, difficult to connect to all the cars where the one on the right so far is showing a very positive results. Obviously the one on the right is a little bit more expensive than the one on the left. So for this video tutorial, we're we're gonna use this one on the right. Okay, you guys saw it, plugged it in with one end. <laughs> there we go, so we can just leave it over there. As you guys can see, it is showing power on, and then OBD is not lit up and links not lit up. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to our phone and we're quickly gonna screen record. I'm gonna show you guys how to do everything. Oh yeah, before I forget, whenever you want to use your diagnostic tool, what you got to do is turn on your ignition, keep your foot off brake, do not start your car, just turn on your ignition. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is a phone. So basically, I'm going to go into Screen Recorder now, uh, but there's an app called the Torque app. So this one actually costs money, but works basically on all Android phones. Or you can just go to the search bar. Let's quickly have a look, it should be there. OBD scanner two, let's quickly click on that one. And it is this one right over here. You see, you can even just search ELM uh, OBD2 as called car scanner. If you click on it, you can see I've already installed it. So this OBD2, this car scanner one works on Android and it works on uh, iPhone where the talk app only works on the Android one. So make sure you download the right one for your phone. All right, so moving to the next part of the video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our Bluetooth on and we're actually gonna hold into our Bluetooth to actually go into it. So it's gonna search for new devices and as you guys can see here at the bottom, trying to highlight it for you, it says OBD2. We're gonna click on it, it's saying pairing and it's gonna ask us for a password. So basically they give you the password, it's either four zeros or one, two, three, four. So let's quickly try one, two, three, four. And as you guys can see, it is paired now and it's called OBD uh, BE. Obviously, it's going to have its own name, but now it's just OBD2. So what we're going to do is we're quickly going to go to the app right over here in the top left corner. We're going to click on it. We're going to go in. So once again, please make sure your car's ignition is on. Um, we're quickly going to do a quick setup. Most of the times you don't even have to fill in all of these kind of things. So just, yes, I agree. Uh, so this, day, you don't have to worry about the picture of the tool, uh, but basically that's the kind of tool. So this is just, you want dark theme, light themed. Uh, we're just going to say next. So obviously the, the are you using metric or imperial lead to 100k's so it's pretty cool like once you set up all of these kind of things uh it can give you like how much fuel you're using it can actually work out your kilowatts or horsepower and all those kind of things i haven't played around with it too much uh so here you can see horsepower measurements kilowatt measurements newton meters obviously this is not 100 percent uh accurate but anyway let's go next so this is the car you can basically just say any car but this is the audi so yeah, you're basically just setting up your profile now, and then uh, we're just gonna say, so it gives us a lot of kind of uh, Audis over here. So we're just gonna say basic, uh, say okay. So this is a gasoline car. What are you running? Your fuel price, so here's something like 23 bucks a liter, uh, and engine displacement is a two liter. So once again, you don't actually need to put in all of this stuff. So cylinders are four, it's not hybrid, next. And here we go. So basically, we are connected to the main screen now. So you don't have to do that every time. But basically, you can have like different profiles for different cars and all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is here at the bottom, it says connect. As you guys can see, I'm highlighting it in dark. So we're going to try to see to connect to the device. We're going to say allow. We're going to say Bluetooth. The device name is the OBD21. And it's this OBD BLE. So we're going to say next. And it's quickly going to try to connect to it. Okay, we're just going to give it a second real quick successfully that was actually very quick 
course, going to need your permission. Okay, and allow. There we go. So we are connected now. So as you guys can see, we can just disconnect it. There's the VIN and everything. So basically, this entire screen, you can go and play around now. Like you can get your live data. Um, I haven't played so much around with, uh, what do you call it? Let's just go back. Uh, so yeah, you can go and play around, check your, all your stuff. But I haven't played around with this car scanner. I used to use the Tor app for many, many years. This is a new one that I'm basically trying. So what we're going to do is let's just quickly check dashboard. Uh, yeah, obviously the car is off. You can see coolant temp is 27 degrees speed. And I believe you can even like add things there and all of that. So, but yeah, we're going to go to diagnostic trouble code. So we're going to go and quickly scan the car and trying to see if we can get any faults. So basically, as you guys can see, uh, there's so many things connected. So we're going to go up here in the top right corner. Uh, we're going to like, you can select all of them. You can deselect all of them. So we're only going to scan a few. Let's scan the OBD2. We're going to do the engine control unit. Uh, there's ABS. Let's do that. Transmission, onboard supply, can. Let's not do too much as doing too much, obviously, uh, as there's quite a lot. So doing too much is going to obviously make this take forever. So we're going to quickly say scan. So we're going to scan one out of six. And I'm quickly going to speed up this video a little bit. Okay, and there we go. In the top left corner, no DTCs found. Yeah, I'm maintaining my car. <laughs> Not a lot of people, they will see this. So anyway, there we go. So there's no DTCs. I know if we go to our ST, we'll basically get a coolant bypass one. But anyway, so yeah, there we go. Like there's so many things you can actually do. I see you can do some coding and servicing. Uh, you can upgrade your, uh, upgrade to Car Scanner Pro. We can do more things. Like this, all what's all of these sensors? Oh, so this is basically showing the long term field trim, short term field trims, the engine RPM. So, what we can do is let's quickly start a car. <clears throat> there we go, start it up. So, you can see the engine RPMs is climbing, uh, engine coolant temps will go, calculated engine load is over there. When it comes to tuning, that's very important. Intake air temps is 15 degrees, so that's basically how cold it is outside. The mass airflow, how many grams per second it's taking in. Throttle position is at 16. I'm still doing a cold start. <clears throat> That's why we had 1,200 RPMs. I'm not going to quickly rev up for you guys now. But the O2 sensor voltage. So this is actually really cool. It's showing the fuel rail pressure is basically at 5,000 kPa. Distance travel, 32 kilometers. Oh, this is since I basically... Oh, since... Huh. Travel since coast clear, whatever the case is. And yeah, so there's a lot of things that are showing, uh, which is actually really freaking cool. But anyway, let's head back to the other camera. So you can go ahead and switch your car off. The diagnostic is done. These tools are very nice. I always keep them in my, we call it a cabiel compartment. So uh, we always keep it in there. I've maybe had mine, not the specific one. As you guys can see, this one is still looking fresh. Just took it out of the plastic bag. So basically I had mine in my car or still have it for maybe three four or five years i'm not kidding i actually asked the people at work like four or five dollars to scan their cars uh yeah so it brings in actually a little bit of extra cash just for for no absolute reason so uh it's actually very nice to have uh and even if it comes to the day where you're standing next to the road and you do not know what to do you're calling for help people is coming they're two hours away and etc basically by having this tool you can just plug it in at the back uh, at the bottom and you can actually search your car for codes and you might actually find that something as stupid as a plug that came out so with these modern cars we have got a cam sensor and a crank sensor once again this is just an example if your cam sensor or your crank sensor is not reading the EC, uh, read, it, read it by the ECU your car will have a no start condition it might be as simple as you just hit a hump the plug came out or something or the plug's not in a good condition it came out or a cable is damaged or whatever the case is it doesn't pick up the cam or crank sensor once again it's just an example uh, your car will not start so basically by having the tool you can scan you can see oh it's my cam sensor or my crank sensor you can go to the engine bay look by your cam oh it's not plugged in by the cam you go and plug it in start your car up drive home and miss all of that crazy diagnostic cost and tow truck cost and even the mechanical cost to try and fix just a dumb stupid plug you could have plugged back in so yeah these tools are really good i really recommend you guys to get them uh also i will have a link in the description if you guys do want them i also do sell them uh just as a small second kind of hustle whatever the case is very nice tools anyway i'm gonna drop this video right over here thank you for watching i'll see you all over legends in my next video